Show him. See for yourself. We've been working on it for months. Damn. Okay, folks, one of my favorite bits from the episode this week was Bobby being introduced to the entire operation between Cal, Desiree, and Simone in regards to their plan to bring down the current administration in the White House. Now, um, the bulletin board I thought was great because it reminds me of what I do in terms of trying to figure stuff out with these shows. Now, I don't go to this extreme, but I do have a lot of notebooks full of stuff from even the haves and the have not days of loving you is wrong, trying to piece together different things like who did this murder, who's cheating on who and whatnot. This is real. Also, this reminds me of, uh, you know, Marvel Secret Invasion, where the first scene was that one guy trying to convince the uh, person about scrolls and then he was right and then he ended up being killed. But um, I tried to zoom in as much as I can, so you'll probably see the main still of this video being Cal looking at the bulletin board. So keep in mind, there are some things I don't know. All I know is I can read the numbers on different sticky notepads, like the number eight, the number four, the number two, the number seven, and then a big sheet of paper turned on the side that says pictures, which could be an envelope full of pictures, which further solidify their, um, you know, evidence and it just goes to show how secretive these two have to be remember they're fbi agents but they really need to go off the books you know off the radar with billboards or bulletin boards and pictures because any of this stuff online can be tracked but um like i said i tried to zoom in as much as i could to figure out what's what so i'm gonna look at these from like left to right and if you find anything that i miss feel free to let me know but to give you the rundown of what's on this bulletin board, this pretty much has everything from season one almost up to the present in terms of all the various murders and cover-ups because there are characters like uh, Ellie, Maud, who I believe is uh, the name of Victoria's mom. We got Gail, Jason. Um, we got pictures of Denise, a.k.a. Ruth's twin sister, but that may also mean they have pictures of Ruth up there because they're portrayed by the same person, so they could be rocking different hairstyles. But I think that there is a picture of Ruth and a picture of Denise. I do. I mean, there's even photos from the freaking residency where I believe we see Jean's corpse. We see um, Denise after she was beheaded. We have... Um, some of these pictures are overlapping with each other, so I can't really tell. I think we had that photo from someone being killed on a carpet. Uh, what, what was her name? Agent, um, Agent something. Was it, it began with like a Y. Remember Max's partner in season one? She was like his uh, partner in terms of uh, being security detail. And she was killed by Kyle in the boutique, Denise's boutique. So I think there's uh, Yuma, 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 Agent Yuma. Uh, I don't know if I see the original press secretary here. I can't. Michael Jai White's wife portrayed her. I can't remember her name, though. I can't remember her name, but she was in season one. But starting at the left, we got a picture of the pharmacy. We got a picture of Picky. I think we even have a picture of Kyle pointing the gun at Picky. Um, because remember in season one, after Gail was found in this uh, neighborhood, Victoria made good on her promise to send Secret Service there to uh, basically take care of Picky and his crew. And remember, Kyle was shooting them one at a time. Uh, we go over below that to, I think there's a picture of Hunter in the lower left corner. But like I said, I don't know. And keep in mind, there are uh, there's red string that's connecting the pictures to each other. So it kind of jumped from pick to pick. In the middle, that's where we see a bunch of photos of the White House. We see Denise. We see her dead body. We see Hunter. At the top of the middle section, we got Ruth, which I believe is all in conjunction with the Rakadushi stuff. But remember, their main goal is taking down the administration. Um, at, under Hunter's photo, I believe we see what looks to be a fire, which could be that log cabin that... Um, um, actually, this could be one of two things. There was the one cabin that Max, Lily, Bobby, and the original press secretary were hiding out at for a time. But then remember, that got hit with a drone strike. And then you had the second cabin that um, 
Sam had where Jason was hiding out until Kyle and Agent Kane burned that down. And then the lower photos at the bottom, it's too dark. Those pictures are all too dark, so I can't tell what they are. Uh, we also get Gail. We get some letters. Now, remember, I, I could be wrong, but one of these papers could be in regards to the contract when Gail was trying to get her emancipation from the family. So that could be a thing because, remember, she was talking with a lawyer. Um, then on the left-hand side, we got Ellie. And then we got Maude and Jason. Gene's dead body. There are two other people I wish I knew about. Like, um, remember that one older maid, the one that found Gene's body in uh, Jason's room who was brought to the hospital and Kyle murdered her. And then uh, we got the top. Okay, I don't know who this is in the top right-hand corner. It's, it's a gentleman in a suit. I don't know if this is meant to be this is probably Victoria's father. I, I can't tell. But like I said, some of these photos, even when I zoom in, I can't make out who it is. So let me just say this bulletin board is full of Easter eggs. And I just love it because it feels like the show takes a moment to show that, hey, we have people in universe who are just as, just as obsessed as people in the real world like me and other content creators who are trying to piece things together bit by bit. So for me, I just love little moments like this. And I did love the fact that Bobby called out the plan. Like, look, this is a lot of good stuff. But if you want to bring down the administration plus Eli, that means Simone's going down too, because they'll try to find some way of dragging her into this. So we need to have Simone play ball in order to find some way of getting some solid evidence that she is clean. And then from there, we can take them all down. So with that being said, I love the bulletin board thing. Really cool. Like and subscribe. Was there anything that I missed on the bulletin board that you want to point out? Feel free to do so in the comments and I'll catch you in the next video.